Hi, this is Keith Fricky with Prairie Land FS, and today I was wanting to talk to you about anhydrous ammonia PPE. What should you be wearing when you're handling anhydrous ammonia? So I'm going to start with me, start down on our feet. You don't want to wear tennis shoes. They're too porous, they'll let anhydrous get to it. So you want a heavy kind of leather or rubber type shoe, something heavier, not a, not a porous tennis shoe. We want long pants, no shorts. I don't care how cute you think your legs are, we need to make sure we've got long pants on. Shirt, preferably when you're handling anhydrous ammonia, you're gonna have a long sleeve shirt. That sleeve will help give you protection. Then we've got gloves that we need to make sure we're using. There's different types of gloves out there. Cotton gloves, things that keep you warm, they really don't work. We don't wanna use those, okay? Leather gloves are a little more durable, but still anhydrous ammonia can soak into them. We don't want to use them either. The chemical nitrile gloves would give you a little bit of protection, but they're too thin. They would freeze, and as you moved your fingers, they would crack. So we don't want to use those. We need to use like anhydrous ammonia gloves. They're cotton-lined, PVC coated, okay? Roll the end of the glove up about an inch and a half. That way when you put it on, if you ever get liquid on your hand, it doesn't run on down onto you or drip down on your body. The liquid would get caught in the cuff itself and then you can drain it off, okay? So that's your gloves. What about then eye protection? We need to make sure we've got eye protection. Sunglasses that look really cool. Do they give you any protection? No, they don't. So we don't want to use those. Safety glasses still do not give you any protection. So we don't want to use those. True vented goggles, we wouldn't want to use those either because they've got holes in them and they're going to let it go in. Non-vented goggles, we don't want to use those either because they fog up too much. And when you have a goggle on that fogs up, they end up not being on your eyes but on your forehead. What we want is a true indirectly vented goggle. They have relief ports on various sides of them. They let the air out but don't let the ammonia in. The theory is they won't fog up as fast. So then they give us good eye protection. When talking about eye protection for anhydrous ammonia, I must talk about the wearing of contact lenses. You cannot wear contact lenses when handling anhydrous ammonia, okay? So do not wear contact lenses when handling anhydrous ammonia. So I kind of want to review over everything we touched on. No tennis shoes, make sure we get good solid shoes, something that's not porous. Long pants, shirt, preferably a long sleeve shirt. Ammonia gloves with the cuffs rolled up about an inch, inch and a half, and indirectly vented goggles. Anytime you're connecting a hose, disconnecting a hose, or while ammonia is pumping under pressure, make sure you have this PPE on, okay? From your partners at Prairie Land FS, we hope you have a safe anhydrous ammonia season.